Good morning. I am here live from Root Forest Personal Training on this fine August morning. I haven't done this in a few weeks, I know. Uh, it happens though. So anybody who's watching here, I don't know if you've seen any of my other uh, Facebook Live videos, but I just like to do some quick things you guys can do on your own at home with no equipment, because uh, a lot of us aren't going to gyms right now still. I know some gyms are opening up. I'm staying out of them, luckily we have our place to train, but for those of you also staying out of gyms, there's a whole lot you can do at home with zero equipment. Uh, and that's what we're doing through Forest with a lot of our clients with streaming online workouts, getting great workouts just in people's living rooms with um, live video workouts. So what I want to show you today are three balancing drills you can do. So we've worked on a lot of mobility drills, we have drills for the feet, ankles, hands, wrists, shoulders, hips. Uh, we worked on some strength and conditioning stuff for the, the core, the chest, the legs, things like that. Balance is something that is very much overlooked in most people's fitness routines. And yes, your balance will improve. If your core and hips and legs get stronger, your balance will absolutely improve without doing any balance work at all. You'll have a more stable foundation. But it doesn't hurt to work it separately either because it's a skill as well as it is just strength. Um, so three really basic balance drills I want to show you here, starting from easiest to hardest. The first one I just call a single leg stand, and it's exactly what it stands for. You stand on one foot. Uh, so, what you're going to do is make sure you can see my feet here. The first step is I want you to make sure your feet are pointed straight ahead. So, feet are pointed straight ahead. I'm not turning my toes out at all. You want to be almost feeling pigeon toe, which is turn slightly in because you're so straight ahead. This is very, very important. Here. So. I want to start there, and then whatever foot I'm standing on, I'm going to take the other foot, I'm going to dorsiflex it, which means flex my toe towards my shin, not pointing. I'm going to lock out this knee, and I'm going to lift it as high as I can. The higher you go, the harder it is. So what this is doing by dorsiflexing and locking the knee and then lifting is this is activating the hip flexor of that leg. And there's a process, I think it's called reciprocal inhibition, don't quote me on that. Where if you flex one hip flexor, it's going to contract the other glute automatically, like the reflex. And your glute is really, really important for having good balance. So when we tighten this quad, force flex that toe and lift, we're going to squeeze the glute that we're standing on inadvertently, and that's going to improve our balance and improve our balance and skill as well. You also want to make sure that head to toe, you have good posture, you're upright and tall. I'm not leaning back to get that leg up there. I'm not bending my knee. So. Nice and tall. If you don't have the flexibility to go much higher than this, or you're wobbling around, stay here. Just focus on having good balance and good posture. Now, I typically do this for sets of time. I say 30 seconds per foot, maybe two or three sets. And you'll notice right away, one side is going to be easier than the other. This is totally normal. We're all asymmetrical. And this is something you want to work on and improve. So right now, again, foot's pointing forward, dorsal flexing and locking the speed. We'll kick out the standing. Posture. Yeah, everyone has a better, stronger, more stable side. What you want to do is work and try and get your two sides to be closer to the same because that's going to improve performance and function and safety when you're not doing that. So again, this is a very simple drill, but whether you're an athlete or whether you're just trying to stay healthy and age healthy, it's a really useful thing to do. So that's a single leg stand. The second balancing drill, this one I got from... Joel Seidman at Advanced Human Performance. You're going to be basically in the same position, but you need a small weight, a water bottle, a textbook, a bag, whatever works. I have a 10 pound weight here. We're going to be in that same position, the supporting leg pointing straight ahead, other foot dorsiflex and you locked, and I'm going to pass the weight back and forth. I call this a standing pass back. So what this is doing is this is subtly shifting your center of gravity. Now I'm a little heavier on the right side, now I'm a little heavier on the left side. And that's forcing your ankle and hip muscles on the supporting leg to correct for those shifts in weight and hold your balance. So rather than standing still and having a stationary object to balance, you're having to constantly adjust to keep your center of gravity. Now again, the higher you lift this leg, the harder it's going to be to have to go up and over, and it's just harder to support, balance that, keep your posture. Um, so I like to do sets of 10 on this, bearing back being one. I'll do a set of 10 on the right leg, switch to a set of 10 on the left leg, and I'll repeat that for two or three sets. So that's the single leg stand with pass back. Now, it looks like my video is lagging right now. I hope you guys can see me all right. Sorry if there's any lag or if you can't hear me. Um, 
The third one I like to do, this one is the most advanced by far, and these are skater jumps. So this is more of a dynamic um, plyometric warm-up for an athletic person. Um, like let's say you're going to go play tennis with friends or go run some sprints or something like that, do trail running. This is a really good warm-up to turn on all your hip and ankle muscles. So the way it starts is you're going to stand one foot. I'm going to bend the knee, and I'm going to get runners on. So if my right knee is up, my left arm is up, my right arm is back. I know the video is probably reversed, so bear with me on the right leg. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to jump laterally, and I'm going to try and land on the other foot. So jump, raise the other knee, catch yourself. Now, this small jump there, I just did a little jump, raise my other knee, but I catch myself and I come to a complete stop. As you get better at these, you can jump farther and lift the knee higher, but the important thing is you let yourself come to a complete stop, you absorb all the momentum, pause, and then go again. So you jump. And what this is doing is this is teaching your body to catch lateral momentum sideways and stabilize and absorb the momentum so that you can go again. What I see a lot of people do when they do this drill is they jump back and forth, back and forth, without, without ever coming to a complete stop. That's not really working your balance. That's just working your hips. It's not really getting a lot of challenge. If you have to catch that momentum, bring it to a stop, and then change directions, that's a much different exercise. So jump, pause, catch, wait till you're stone still, switch the other way. And then as you get better, jump further, wait till you come to a stop, jump further. And so again, this is one, just like the others, I like sets of 10, it's a nice round number, but you can certainly play with that a little bit. But I like to do sets of 10, there and back being one rep, so 10 on each side, and repeat that for multiple sets. So these are a great thing for like active recovery. You can do these during a regular workout in between your sets, just to practice the skill, because they're not very tiring. They're technically challenge, challenging, but they're not physically challenging. You don't get tired, you don't get sore, your muscles don't burn. Well, they might a little if you're not used to them, like your ankle and hip muscles. But not an exhausting exercise by any means. Very, very useful skill there. No matter what you do and no matter what your goals are, balance will help you improve in all those things. So you can't have too good a balance, and it's never going to be a hindrance to work on it. So give these a shot. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys are having a great day. See you next time.